So we decided to brave the really cold weather today and come out and just see how the Nikon Z50 actually performs for a little bit of vlog style video. And I must say it looks pretty clear on the screen, but the top part of the screen is obscured. And we've got to remember this is a flip down screen on this particular camera. And I'm using the internal mics as well, just to see how it performs just by itself in the cage on a little tiny tripod. It's weird, isn't it? It's half a house. It's a nice little bridge going back out to the car park it looks like there's another way out over there Phones will be behaving with the really strong winds. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a summary about how I found vlogging with the Nikon Z50 and um, it's a mixed experience really. I think the actual video quality is extremely good, really nice crisp up to 4K or UHD footage 30 frames per second. The cage I'm using from Small Rig, I'll, I'll show you it on a, a little inserted clip now. That works extremely well, but it is quite cumbersome having the tripod off to the left hand side. And I did also find that the cage obscures part of the screen. Now, if you remove the Nikon Z50 out of the cage and just sort of hand hold it at arm's length, with the 16 to 50 kit lens, you can still get quite a, a nice sort of framing, a nice amount of background behind you. So that's still possible. You know, if you, if you want to vlog without a tripod on the bottom, you can hand hold it. Uh, but overall I was quite impressed, it's a, a nice camera, battery life seems really good, focus seems extremely good during video. And then you've got the added flexibility of course that you have got a microphone input if you want to use it. You've also got the HDMI output which is a clean HDMI output so you could use it for live broadcasting or recording to an external recorder. I've already done a video using this for a live broadcast as well, if you haven't seen that please do check it out. So, so overall I'm just really impressed and I'd like to hear what you think about it as well. So let me know what you think of both the video quality 
and the audio quality from the Nikon Z50. Drop me some comments below, hit like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.